What do, what do companies do every year, pretty much every year? They, so they, they, have, they may have this grand vision, this grand policy. Bruce, what, what, would, what, what do you think? I mean, you're in a company. What do you, what's your company? You got this, may have this grand vision, but then what do you do when you try to decide what you're going to focus on that year? It's called strategic planning. Strategic planning, right. The strategic planning is out there. You've got to set some priorities. And here's what we're going to do now. Here's how we're going to take these resources and apply them over here. And this is what we're going to zero in on, right? It helps you get a, a path, right? So the pathway, indeed, vision and policy, Andre spoke of, operating system standards. So what do you think that's about? You might say the mission and vision is policy is like, here's what we're going to do. So the operating system can be formal, can be informal. It's like, how are we going to do it? Right? How are we going to, to do, do some of this? Uh, and of course, a strategic plan. Let me just kind of talk a little bit more about these two things. This is, an, this is a, lots of different ways to do strategic planning and to lay it out in terms of uh, organization. This is one way very similar to what Baxter did some years ago when I was there. They created a balanced scorecard. They said, all right, we're going to frame this around employee objectives, financial objectives, supply chain customer objectives, community government objectives. So you're kind of looking at all the major sectors of, of, of stakeholders. And then you set out these goals. And these, if you look through here, you'll see that they cover environmental goals, social goals, safety, health, environment, community, as well as financial business targets. And so it's a convenient way to kind of lay, lay, uh, lay out what you're trying to achieve across your whole organization. This is not like a separate plan. This is the plan for the business. And it, it incorporates sustainability aspects. And with each one of these, you have a, a measurable target. So it's not just these broad objectives, but you have a measurable target. And then the idea is, is that each division, each function, has their own version of this that makes it more specific to their operation, more specific to their organization, with their own individual goals, their own individual targets that support the company-wide balanced scorecard. So this is a way of laying out you know, objectives for the year, strategic planning. Interesting way, lots of different ways to do it, but this is an interesting way to help ensure that you're kind of aligned with sustainability issues. Um, let's see here. Let me go jump back. Uh, the evaluators, what, what are we talking about there? Yeah. Just to take it back one half second, there's something that really exists on the boundary between efficient enablers and pathways. What was that again? There's something that exists between efficient enablers and pathway right on the line. It's really about having a senior leadership cross-functional council. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And in fact, what you find is this is where this this is this piece right there. I mean, it's so important that if. What you find in major companies, the general model, there's lots of different ways to do it. The model I prefer is a cross-functional team uh, with representatives from leadership of different functions and the businesses. Because what you find as we get into sustainability is that you know, it's not a one-dimensional thing. There's a lot of different aspects and it's not one department. You have some organizations that have a sustainability department. And that may be good to facilitate stuff, but you can't what you can't do is you can't have that organization owning the whole sustainability program. It has to be owned by each function, each bit division. They have to say this is part of what we're doing. And so if you really want to show that ownership, then this cross-functional team, I think, is critical with leadership to help keep it focused and to drive you know, meetings and help bring the things to the agenda forward and so forth and so on. But absolutely right. That's, that's, key. that's a key structural element. That, coupled with this champion and leader and top, visible top management support are key to moving that. If you don't have this structure in place, then of course your organization's not geared to take in sustainability and move it, move it forward. But very important part. Evaluators. How do we know if we're staying on the path? What does an organization need to try to understand whether it's on course, moving forward, in the direction it's intended to go, or perhaps whether that direction needs to be adjusted. What do you need? 
We need some measurements. Some need measurements. some measurements, absolutely. Got to have some measurements. They're saying, hey, here's what we're trying to achieve. Okay, how are we doing? We're staying on. Okay, what else do we need? We got the measures. How do we know if we're, me if we're, we're, we're getting there? Somebody, you know, that's right. You know, you have somebody come in and say, well, okay, how are we doing? Uh, are we doing, are we meeting, ex is this facility meeting expectations, this division, this procurement department meeting expectation? Some sort of an assessment process, right? Somebody outside come in and say, you know, your fresh set of eyes looking this over, comparing it with what our objectives were, what our pathway was that we've laid out, we all agreed to. Important, right? What else? What else do we need to see? To see ourselves, as, to follow up on your point, to see ourselves as others see us, what else do we need besides some sort of an assessment process? What about our stakeholders? How do we, how do we, how do we deal with them? What's the word? Yeah, what's the other word? Transparency. What's the other word we talked about? The two main things that you need, that are uh, the two main themes that are coursing their way through sustainability. One was transparency, what was the other one? Stakeholder engagement, right. So we need some indicators and goals, uh, some measuring, some way of reporting our progress, and the all-important stakeholder engagement, to see ourselves as others see us, to make sure that we're meeting those expectations, or maybe we need to adjust our goals and direction and vision You know, if the stakeholders say we're out of bounds. So these, I mean, this is basically the key parts to kind of moving your organization forward. So you're talking with the CEO and you say, look, CEO, SOS is what we need here. And that's, that's what, what will get you there. And certainly that's what enabled me over the course of 25 years at Baxter, moving the organization forward, kind of learning these things the hard way. And, that, and the book is actually geared to those individual elements. How do you do those things, and what are some tools to do those things in the most effective way? Here are some goals, actually. We talk about goals. Uh, a little survey at 11 companies that are very aggressive on sustainability. And you can see, uh, you know, we've got two different kinds. We've got those with metrics, the, the brown goal, uh, numbers and uh, bars, and then those that are non-metric obje objectives in the blue. And this was taken a couple years ago, but you can see, you know, where people are setting their goals, company-wide goals. A lot of them are around green, greenhouse gases, energy, of course. But you've got some social safety uh, going down. You've got philanthropy goals, uh, diversity goals whole host of different kinds of goals. And those are shifting, you know, those, the popularity of those goals shift as issues shift. And of course, climate change being the big issue of the day, one of the big issues, it's, it's up, up at the top. So, there we have it. All right, we talked about this, let me just jump back here, oops, come on. Over on the right, you saw this sort of continual improvement process. We talked about, uh, you know, operating system standards. And basically, a lot of the operating systems or management systems, if you will, are framed around this kind of a model. At least some people, the old expression of it's been around a long time is plan, do, check, act. Basically, you plan what you're going to do, plan your priorities, and you implement the plan, and then you collect the data to measure and measure your progr progress and identify where your, str your strengths are and where your gaps are. You report this data and then you solicit feedback from your stakeholders and then you set new priorities and continue around this cont continual improvement process. Now people say, you know, there's a lot of management system standards folks say, well, what we're after is continual improvement. And I say, no, not necessarily because it doesn't make any sense for an organization.